baby, I just need a thug Won't you be my What's up, Nate gang? Welcome back to my channel If you're new here, I'm Quinnay Connor Welcome to my channel Make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell To be notified when I post a video If you're not new here, welcome back to my channel, Nate gang So yeah Today, I'm going to talk about the time I worked for Sesame Place for one day. <laughs> one day. I worked for Sesame Place for one whole day. So, let's get into it. Yeah, I'm chilling. It's about, what time is it? Almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So, gotta get these videos in. But, yeah, anyway. So, alright. I was in high school. I think I was in the... 11th grade if i'm not mistaken yeah 11 yeah i was in 11th grade so all right so the way sesame place works um i remember my best friend calling me like nay um you want to work at sesame place they hiring and at the time y'all i just got fired from my market job <laughs> i worked at a market but i'll let y'all know that story in another story time when i got fired my first time getting fired but yeah so my home girl my best friend called me up like nay apply to sesame place only thing you gotta do is go in there you can click what you want to apply for um and yeah that's it you can make it schedule your interview and that's it so i'm like all right girl i'm like all right best i went on there and i did exactly what she said so i think i applied for um to work the machine to do like the um to do the ride so all right so i scheduled my interview get to the interview i aced the interview they asked me a couple questions i was like we oh, oh, oh. ace the interview got the job okay so i'm like all right cool so my best friend um i call her like girl i got the job i'm on the spot whatever whatever blah 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 all right so then the next few days i think they called us um what well, they called me and we had to do the orientation so went to the orientation um or whatever scratch that before i even did the orientation i didn't even end up doing the rides which that is a whole nother story which is hilarious i'm going to record that video really soon but um i couldn't even do that because by the time i got there with so many people wanting that job they had already gave it away so i applied for another job which was a swimming job and that was a complete disaster. So I'm definitely going to do a story time on that. But yeah, so I applied for that, the swimming job. And then the last but not least, it was cooking. Okay, so I'm like, all right. So I applied for the cooking job, which was cool. It wasn't cooking up and I heard it was real laid back from the other girls that was there. So I'm like, all right, cool, that I'm going to do the cooking. I'm going to be indoors. It's not going to be hot and it's going to be a piece of cake boy was i wrong y'all so we went to um orientation my dad and my mom was bringing me back and forth back and forth back and forth to the job so i'm like all right i'm gonna keep this job i just got fired from my last job i'm gonna do my best and we're gonna see what it's hitting for so i get to orientation you know i hooked up with a group like a little clique or whatever it was fun like i and then we had paid orientation y'all where they have paid orientation at? Nowhere. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I'm living my best life. I'm working at Sesame Place. And not to mention, they give you um, free tickets to Sesame Place. They give you free tickets to SeaWorld, Bush Gardens, I believe. And it was one more. I just can't remember. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'm living life. I got my free tickets. I done got a little click going. I see all the characters. Like, this fun. I went through orientation. Um, orientation was inside. It was air conditioner inside. You know, they taught us how to cook, what to do on the line or whatever. Bam, bam, bam. Getting the food out to the customers. Like, yeah. So, I'm like, all right, cool. I got this under control. So, after I, I believe we did orientation for a week or two weeks. Don't quote me on that because it was a long time ago. But if I'm not mistaken, we did orientation for two weeks. So, I had a paycheck for two weeks. So, at the orientation for the two weeks, they were like, alright, well, we're going to call y'all for y'all schedule. So, they signed us up for, like, this online portal where you can see your schedule and, you know, how many hours you had and how much you get paid or whatever. So, I'm like, alright, cool. Get home, about three days went by. I see the girls 
um, had already started. So I'm like, okay, well, why didn't I start? But I'm like, when they just be patient, whatever. So a week went by, two weeks went by. I'm like, oh no, the season already started. So I called them the second week and I'm like talking to the manager or whoever I was talking to at the time, like, hey, you know, I went through orientation. I signed up for this, that, and the third, and I didn't start yet. So they like, oh, we're sorry. We basically forgot you. Y'all, they forgot to put me on a freaking schedule. So they like, we basically, basically in a nutshell, they forgot, forgot to put me on a schedule. So he was like, you can come in right now. And by this time, I think my, my parents already bought me a car. So... And like you can come in right now just make sure you park in the back parking lot and we'll get you started so i'm like all right cool so i called my mom like mom you know i gotta work they finally put me on schedule whatever whatever all right everything cool so i'm like all right bet i'm about to get these hours in get a check live my best life this summer i get to work i go in the back do you know they wrote me out one. <laughs> y'all, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So at, at every amusement park, they have like the little cart where they have all the food on and everything. And yeah, so I get back there. The guy pulls out a cart. This ain't what I signed up for. No. Anybody that know me knows like, no. <laughs> y'all, I'm like, this ain't what I signed up for. Like, no, I signed up for the air conditioner and making the nuggets and the fries indoors. They wanted me to push a cart. So I'm like, all right, since I'm already here, I'm just like going with the flow. Cause at this point I'm already embarrassed. I'm just like, oh my goodness. So I get the cart. Um, I get the little cart. Mind you, this cart is heavy as, heavy as y'all. He like, well, basically what you have to do, I mean, he gave me a pouch and he gave me this big ass cart. It had pretzels on there, chips, soda, water, anything, you name it, it had on there. So I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck am I, what do y'all want me to do? Like, mind you, I'm seeing, all right, but I'm jumping ahead, but yeah. So he like, well, Telling me the prices like the pretzels cost whatever and this cost that that and the third. He gave me a little menu. He like you have to push this up and down the amusement park until you sold out. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What you say? <laughs> he wanted me to push the car around the amusement park until I was sold out. Mind you, this is the beginning of the summer it had to be like 85 degrees outside no lie so i'm like oh my gosh at first of all we couldn't even be on our phones i wanted to call my mom so bad and tell her i was leaving but i'm like let me just see how this day is going to play out let me just see how it's going to play out because i might like it let me just see push the cart this heavy ass cart outside mind you i'm struggling i'm like yeah i know y'all know when something is too heavy and when y'all trying to push it or move it it's be like no so i'm literally like okay pushing this cart this heavy ass cart all around the park so i get to the front or whatever and i'm and, oh hold up not to mention they Obama out. Fuck this shit. I already had it in my mind that I wasn't coming back. But I had to stick it out because the supervisors was there. Everybody was there and they was kind of watching. I would that was the most embarrassing thing I ever had to go through in my life. So I'm literally pushing this cart. I'm like, pet these, soda, come and get your sodas, cotton candy, come and get your cotton candy. Yo, well, I'll tell you why I turn around. I see somebody I know. And they like, oh, Kunai, I didn't know you work here. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was so embarrassed. I was like, they probably texting people like, oh my goodness, we just saw Kunai yelling, 
free um come and get your sodas pepsis cotton candy y'all it was a disaster like so after that um i kind of went and hit because I didn't want to see nobody else that I knew. Like, that was so embarrassing to me. Like, that was so embarrassing. So, I'm, like, still walking around, but I'm, like, being low-key about it. I wasn't screaming no more to put them to buy their stuff. People was coming up to me, like, yo, I ain't even gonna lie. I was getting some of the prices wrong. It was all bad. It was all bad. Like, all bad. So, um... So after that or whatever, I had went back, returned the cart, gave him the money or whatever. I didn't even know some of the prices I charged him, if it was right. I didn't give at that point. I gave him that pocket thing of money and I went home. And guess what? I never came back. I was not doing that. I was not doing that. And there's people that, not knocking people who do do it because... You know, by any means, get your coins, sis. But it just wasn't for me. Like, I couldn't do that. That was not, no, that wasn't for me. So, I decided to go home. I talked to my mom, and that was the end of it. Um, Yeah, that was my story time on when I worked for Sesame Place for one day. But I do recommend working for Sesame Place if you can get um the job that you want. Because if I would have been able to get, well, I don't know how it would have played out, but if I was able to get the amusement park operator, then I think it would have been way more um, exciting and less embarrassing, if you get my gist. But yeah, so um, definitely, I definitely feel like that's a job that was an experience that, I don't know, it was just embarrassing, I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> One thing I did like about it though, how enthusiastic everybody was and how positive everybody was. And also, in a break room, you get to see everybody. Elmo, Yo Gabba Gabba, everybody. Bert, Ernie, Trash Can Man. Like, it was a whole vibe. But I just didn't like the job description they had me in. So, yeah. That about wraps up my story time, my most embarrassing moment in the time I worked for Sesame Place for one day. So <laughs> make sure you leave a positive comment down below. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Click that bell for your notification for when I post another video. I'm out in the gang. Bye. Shut, 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 I'm drinking. It's better.